We started using dental monitoring um, in 2020, which is when I started with Dr. Becker. So it's always been a part of my practice life. Um, and then we really ramped it up um, during COVID with the shutdown. We thought we would just use it in aligner patients. And we saw we could use dental monitoring to monitor oral hygiene and elastic compliance and all of those things in our braces patients as well. Dental monitoring will tell you if there is a broken appliance, if an elastic hook has come off, if oral hygiene is bad, um, if power thread is broken. So there's a lot of things that maybe a patient wouldn't even notice that the AI can pick up and let you know to bring that patient in. We have a dental monitoring coordinator. Um, she checks dental monitoring every day. It takes her about five, 10 minutes to look at all of the notifications. And really the only part that she brings me in is um, if she needs me. So for me, in my whole week of seeing patients, I probably spend no more than five minutes on dental monitoring. And that's just answering questions that she can't answer. I want dental monitoring to really be utilized to its full potential. You know, as you first jump into it, you kind of, you want to test the waters and see how that's going to fit into your life. But the more you go all in on it and really use it to its full potential where you're only seeing the patient when you need to actually put your hands on them, um, I think that's where you really hit that sweet spot with dental monitoring. <laughs>